Hey guys. So what Three, is two, one. What, what does ambient metal sound like? This. It's actually her new record. It's like, oh, and then it's just like chords and like like melodies in the back. It's like mm-hmm. whisper, whisper metal. I like baby really metal. Soft. You know, Japanese metal. I've What's never listened to Japanese baby, Japanese. baby baby metal. metal. Yeah. yeah, I saw them open up for Red Hot Chili Peppers. That's actually cool. <laughs> that's, that's hard. That's a good time. So Ooh, I'm seeing Red Hot in a month. I'm so excited. Nice. With Thundercat opening. Whoa, yeah. where at? At Hard Rock Stadium. Hard. I hate you. Yeah, I have to get tickets. I hate sure. you. If only you weren't here. Oh yeah, I'll be in Europe. So. Oh, perfect. You beat that. Oh yeah, you were. You you invited me. Yeah figure it out anyway but i'll be gone welcome to the show y'all Hello. <laughs> welcome we have a lovely guest thank you for having introduce me introduce yourself hi my name is phoenix james i'm a musician and tall person and tall yeah, person you want to you want to put your height on there yeah. i'm oh i'm six foot five mm. okay mm. Mm-hmm. i'm like seven ten then <laughs> Aww. Like you're, you're definitely taller than me. You're, yeah, I'm 5'9. Five 5'9. Nine. Five nine. Okay, I'm 5'7. 5'6. Five five yeah. We think, love a I tall girl. Five. Yeah, for real. The confidence. Hey, the, have you seen the, the TV show? The tall, like, really, really tall girl. Okay, like, yeah, the movie Tall Girl. I haven't seen that one, but I've seen like a, t- oh. like a reality show. I haven't either. We're like, this is. <laughs> <laughs> Um, anyway, no one needs to know the really shitty movies I watch in my so, downtime. It's so okay. wait, coming with being tall. Yes. Aren't you a model? I am. Okay, I'm cool. Very weirdly on accident. On it was literally accident? like I on didn't accident. mean. How do you? That's a vine. Become a model. I so I used to model. Like my first job as a model was Pampers when I was a baby. I was a really cute baby. Purr. So she's been a star from the <laughs> start. She's a Gerber baby. <laughs> Your Pampers like. Yes. Look at this diaper. <laughs> <laughs> diaper. <laughs> no, but, no, but um, I started like diaper. really young, and then I stopped like around puberty because I was getting really weird looking. Well, I mean, and then like diapers and puberty don't <laughs> no mix, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> but um, I think around last year, um, somebody scouted me from Instagram, and she's like, "Do you want a model?" And I was like, "Okay, I'll do it again." You believed and, it? Yeah. Like well, was it was it sketchy? She knew. Oh, so she was a makeup artist. It's my okay. agent Jenny from Vault okay. Management. And so like, she was a mu- uh, makeup. <laughs> I artist. I thought it was a random. I was like, yeah, no, that, okay. That's how I was weirded out. But I saw she like had a mutual with me. I hit up the mutual. I was like, do you know this lady? And she was like, yeah, she's cool. Like she's a good person. So I pulled up, but it was like an empty warehouse, and it was like Oof. dust. Like they were just Oof. building the space. So I was like, yo, this is so sketch. But yeah, it ended up working out really well. It's been cool. Empty yeah. warehouse from a random DM, not fun. Empty I warehouse right? for a rave. But mm, as an artist fun. and a solo artist, I feel like you come across that a lot. Like you're being sent to places and studios that are like in the middle of nowhere. And you're like, yo, you pull up. I, yeah, you pull up and then you, you're kind of standing outside. And you're like, do I go Just in? Go inside. Like, it's just, like random people saying. And then you go in and it's a full on like studio and everyone's chilling out. But exactly. the outside terrifying that happened to me i was in like hialeah or somewhere in like yeah. just like long staircase and there's like some like i don't even know what it was but i definitely walked into the wrong door Ooh. because <laughs> it was like an empty room with a couch and a tv and then like nobody was there and i was just like hello like hello no, and i heard like a like a crash and i just like ran out like i was just like bro like not nah, like nah, you ever walk into the wrong way. house no. yes no i have and the car and a wrong car how do you do that? If we were in the middle of Miami, we were leaving. It was the same car as like my friends, and I opened the door and I sat in, and then I looked at the floor and I was like, "This is not our stuff." Stop. And then they were all looking at me, and they just were with their jaws like dropped. No one said a word. <laughs> I was like, no one was gonna tell me I was in the wrong car. They They're all looked at like me like I was crazy, you. like because the door just opened. That's really scary, you know. <laughs> I, but I, yeah, I was looking at a house here like last week uh, to move to, and it's literally on the street and. Uh, the realtor like opens the door and like it, it doesn't look like like it looks kind of empty and then you walk in you start seeing stuff in the bedroom and you're like wait did this get rented out oh this is the unit that got rented out last week no no, no <laughs> get out get out get out oh, oh my, my God. gosh that's funny yeah, yeah that's that's really embarrassing I'm, I'm sorry that happened to you guys <laughs> <laughs> that's like a biggest fear so, anyway so how's that modeling uh how to go from dm to where now where you're actually like on an agency and yeah so i started off with a mother agency which is basically like a I don't know how to, the, let me see. Is it like an Basically, umbrella? Yeah, exactly, okay. an umbrella. And then they send me to, like, 
bigger agencies to like work with so like they did like test shoots just got my portfolio good and then sent me to elite miami and then with them i just started literally they threw me right into the fire i've done a lot of jobs nice. just did i just did fashion week that was my first miami purr. fashion week yeah okay. from a sony Big purr. that was yeah Big that was purr. really cool yeah but i feel like a baby all the time because i'm still like a lot Little younger purr. Yeah, little purr. <laughs> little purr. Because I'm still, like, a lot younger than all the girls, and they're all, like, like the very professional, and, like, come in, like, all bougie. So I'm just, like, I don't okay, know. Never like, lose yeah, that. Guys. Don't don't yeah. lose that part of yourself. I yeah, feel like no, whatever. Of not. It's not like they're mean, but it's just, like. But it's, yeah. It t- a little bit more, too, you know, like. Reserved. Yeah, exactly. Are they just European? No, um, <laughs> It's a mix. A, lo- no. a lot of them are from Miami. But, yeah, a lot of Europeans and, like, mixes, they're, like, yeah, I just came from my beef thigh. And beef France and I came from a beef A beef and I loved it there. Yeah, I don't know if I would survive in a room like that. It's it's chill. Then the girls are usually nice. Like, yeah, I've only well. met like two mean people, and I was just like, okay. You're like, this is not <laughs> nobody that, messes. It's not that serious. Anyway. Anyway. Yeah, it's <laughs> like, girl, you pose for a camera and leave. Like, it's not it's not that deep at all. Like, love yeah. your job. Love your yeah. job. <laughs> love your job. It's a great <laughs> job. But love, yeah, but love it's yourself. So easy. It's That's how I say so it. Easy. Like with DJing, I'm like, don't take it too seriously because DJing is just fun. It's just music. We're lucky. At the end of the day, yeah, exactly. Yeah, true. But yeah, it's been really cool. I'm I'm happy that I fell into it, and I'm not like super obsessed with it, but I do really enjoy it. And like, I I like being dressed up like a doll. Like I don't like <laughs> I don't do makeup that often, so I love getting my face yeah. beat. Like, but you you have like a fashion sense. Like you have you. a fashion, you have style. Thank you know, you. but you have it. It's very catered to you, and I like yeah. that. You Thank know? you so much. Yeah, I appreciate that. And with like your artistry, when did you kind of start like combining the two? Like with music and and that. And in, in modeling or? Or just in, or in just general, general, just kind of tying the two and putting a, a look together, creating Ooh. an identity. I feel like I'm still. And what you're doing. You're still doing I'm it. still in the middle of that. I yeah. feel like because I've only been dropping music for like three years. So I really don't know right now. I'm trying to keep a uniform. Like okay. I, I like really simplistic, minimalistic things. So when I look at people like, I don't know, like Tom Ford, like he wears the same suit like everywhere he goes. Like type like. Or monochromatic fits like that's yeah. what i'm really trying to get into so mm-hmm. i'm still trying to figure it out but i have no idea i think my just my look in general just me yeah my hair i'm a really tall person it just helps a lot because i don't have to do too much to like yeah. emphasize that i'm in the room so it makes it a lot easier for me to work with my look because yeah. i can do a lot of different and things I don't know. you seem to be really focused on making the music and yeah and working with people and collaborating exactly because you you hear music with your ears not your eyes at the end of the day so even if i look like a bum just if you sound beautiful, still gonna hit. it's still going to hit. Yeah. Still gonna you don't hit. have to to look at me to listen. Yeah. You know? What about you guys? Do you think like being a DJ has a lot to do with your look or is it more about the music? Um, I think it just it's person to person. It's truly should be what each person cares about. Everybody should have their own identity. If they enjoy fashion, yeah. then dress up, work it, right. like do your thing. But if it's not something that you're super into and you're more focused on other things and you're more focused on other things, you know, I don't... I, I try not to have like any sort of judgment because if you could throw down, you could throw down. Throw down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, 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 I don't care what you look like as long as you can make me dance. Yeah, true. So, do, do you feel like there's people that care more about the look than the actual music? Of course. Yeah, 100%. And that's yeah. every industry. Yeah, true. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Very true, very true. You know, cuz yeah. I mean, the people who are like the biggest in 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 their craft. I was talking about this with I like blue last night, like aren't the best. Like, when you think about, like, Dwayne Johnson is a really famous actor, but he's not the best actor in the world. You know, like, yeah. it's all about your look and, like, the way you deliver yourself to the public eye, which yeah. I think is still really interesting that people, like, are see it that way. so attached to the look and the sound. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's comfort in a sense. True. People like to be able to identify things, like, mm-hmm. right off the bat and associate that with other things, but... I don't know. It is what it is. I like some things that I like play out and people are like, wait, you listen to this? <laughs> yeah, right. I'm like, yeah, I listen to everything. I like, I love music. Yeah, what right. are you talking about? <laughs> exactly. It's not just yeah. like cutesy. I mean, thanks. So. No. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think just having an identity is, and because everybody has their own experience. Mm-hmm. The way that you perceive music is so different than the way that I do. True. And, and like background. Yeah. And, and to just share crazy. how you see things as a special special skill yeah for sure it's hard so why, why are you sorry what'd you say did you say i'm sorry no i said that's hard oh <laughs> i'm sorry why are you like, sorry why are you sorry i'm so sorry um do, no. do you feel like 
modeling in a way has changed how you poise yourself while you're on stage performing? Yes, in a way. I feel like when I'm on stage, I can be a lot more lax. When modeling, like it's like you're trying to sell something. Mm -hmm. So I have like this microphone, and I'm like, microphone ooh, ah, ooh right the best i'm trying sound. to like emphasize that but this is really about me and like me focusing on the music so i feel like i don't pay attention as much i feel like i release a little bit more because i'm not in front of a camera and True. i'm not getting paid to be there it's like i'm on the job when i'm modeling so it's also like i have to get this done but like on the stage i'm like i'm gonna do whatever i want and i'm gonna look crazy if i want to i'm a rah rah yeah i look <laughs> you want to get yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> i want to get like more unhinged as time yes. goes by on stage go just go crazy go that, stupid. i think that comes with just like life experience yeah and comfortability on the stage yeah because like, i also have comfortability with yourself true you know yeah that's true i i used to be like just i used to stand there and just perform like i was so <laughs> nervous when i first started performing <laughs> yeah. i don't know if you were similar did you just stand there yeah, um this is my song my first performance, my first performance, like my first live performance was actually this year at Las Rosas, R.I.P. Shout out to Las Rosas. For real. But Someone here played the last night pretty. there. Oh, really? Yeah, it was crazy. Damn. It was wild. Played they the kicked me out. They're the like, room. get off the CDJs. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> please. Everybody was like, no. Damn. Yeah. yeah no, I didn't really get to fully experience it because when I played, like, I, I'm 19, so like, he yeah, I was about to ask you. I'm like, I'm pretty sure you're under. Yeah, under 21. Yeah, yeah you I'm heard 18. that correct. Ooh. Um, so <laughs> yeah, no. the guy went to my so ID. Shocked. He's like, okay. He's like, you're gonna have to wait outside until it's your turn to yeah, play. Yeah, Las Rosas so won't, like <laughs> won't let you stand inside. It doesn't matter if you're playing. You only can go in if you're underage. You play your set and then they immediately kick you out. Yeah, he was like, he was like, good job, knock it out. Like, I was uh, like, okay, it's really great what you're doing here. No, <laughs> get the fuck out. <laughs> yeah, no, bro. I was like, damn. You want a drink? Psych. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they gave us drink tickets, and then like my drummer snatched them away. He's like, <laughs> he was like, yeah, yeah he's he like was kicking like, you out. He's like, he was happy. He was really happy. <laughs> it was Ooh. fun. You went home right after. You're like, Bye guys. but yeah, no, yeah. Live performances. I feel like my first one, I was pretty chill because I practiced a lot. Also, okay. in, in the mirror, like, what's your ritual? Oh, I don't. I just breathing because <laughs> so I don't <laughs> just <laughs> um yeah, yeah. <laughs> you freaking Backstage out. Backstage and then go on like. Guys. Yeah, but yeah, no, definitely breathing because my heart is like, boom, 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 oh boom, boom, yeah, boom, boom. and then I finally calm down when like I sing a couple. What words. is it? Yeah, yeah, it's just really bad stage. I know like, exactly what you're talking about. Oh that my feeling. God, and like, oh. it's so crazy. Do you get the poops, the nervous poops. <gasps> Why would you say that? That's it's like normal. our secret. Uh -huh. That's our secret. <laughs> <laughs> what revealed. Yeah, when I used to perform and sing live, oh my God, the stomach issues before girl, the uh, the anxiety crazy. because you'd be so anxious. But I feel like with DJing, no, thank God. Mean? Yeah, DJing is different, I feel like. Cause yeah, it's a little less about, like, me. Even if you mess up, it's just like... Yeah, yeah. But on stage, yeah. it's... It's different, yeah. It's She's really a task. Really different. <laughs> yeah, it's, like, it's really, like, really different. Kind of glad I don't sing, because I'd rather just... Yeah. yeah, exactly. Turn it on. But it still is a really cool experience, and I'm happy that so I chose... Nice breathing techniques. Yeah, really good breathing techniques, and just, like vibing out so i don't lose my mind so if you just performed for the first time this year was it before just like releasing music and yeah so i dropped my first project in oh i'm, I'm thinking like oh it's covid and like three years ago yeah like exactly also, like, yeah during 2020 i didn't get to perform till like this year but also i don't think like last year i didn't really make an effort to really go Put out and perform because yeah. i was just focused on the on the music but like now Good i'm outside you, though. yeah i'm trying to do as many shows as possible build that catalog year. yeah for real for real, for real. Good to know. Good to know. How long have you been making music? Um, I started making music. So, like, my background is in performing arts. I started playing guitar at seven. And then I went to, like, performing arts school, at, like, for middle school through high school. So I was playing bass there, classical music, jazz. And then I started producing at, like, 13 and then making music, like, around 13, 14. Duh, duh of yeah. choice. What would you say? Duh oh, of Logic. I'm not an Ableton logic. fan. Sifway. Yep, <laughs> yep. Bye, bye, bye. Logic is queen. We now. have to go for now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll never. I. It's fun. Never say never, right? I feel like if you play instruments, like it's a lot better in Logic. I'm not the best. I'm not gonna lie. Ableton, if you make beats, like I, I can see yeah. why. Like I see why. True. True. Yeah. Whereas, was your family very like supportive of like creative like endeavors or like? expression yeah way. for sure like they're a huge reason why are I they like your number one fans yes yeah. my mom is like at Aww. every show it's actually like really i love funny. that though she's the loudest like at my last show there's like a video and she has like this massive fan she's like <laughs> not the flank <laughs> <practice>. <laughs> 
like she's loud as hell. Yes, she is. Take her to space. She take her to space. <laughs> yeah. Take her to the terrace. <laughs> For real. <laughs> loud yeah. as hell. Like starting every clap sequence. But yeah, she likes my music a lot, which makes me have it really happy. But they're they like were in the industry. So like my dad worked in the business. That was gonna be my business. next question. Yeah, like, business was, side. Okay. So I grew up on set, like going to like music awards and my mom was a professional dancer. Wow. So she like danced at the Latin music awards and like with like Alejandro yeah. Sanz we and Daddy so Yankee. Much co- Ooh. No? So yeah. <laughs> I was, like, always around the arts, and, like, she when, like, after she stopped dancing, she was still in the arts scene. She was working at, like, Adrian Art Center and, like, doing a bunch That's of... That's a artsy, beautiful artsy upbringing, teams. just yeah, being around really art. Fun. That's Literally awesome. Literally, you walk into my house, somebody's dancing, somebody's making music. And so it's a loud house. Yeah. Same. Yeah. It's really always music house. playing. Always. It's too much movement in there. I mean, like, everybody <laughs> stand still so I can record this. Um, <laughs> please, beat. everyone. Please. Sh- Shut up. Yeah, <laughs> please. Are you the most timid in your family, or...? Um, it really de- it really depends. <laughs> I feel like uh, what? But are you the most timid? Because no. I'm the most timid out of my family, which is insane to think about. Right. I right. no. I'm definitely not the most timid. Right. I feel like I'm like the second loudest. My mom is definitely up there. Nice. She's I love loud. that. I love a loud Aries family. Queen. Yeah. My dad is just like mute. He's king. <laughs> like he's just like <laughs> it'd be those couple, <laughs> it'd be those couples just mute. Mute boy. And she's like, pow, 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 pow. <laughs> like, just like that. Like, literally, if you see them in in, in, in a action. club. Yeah. yeah. I, they went to space, like, space work. And, like, my, my dad went with her, like, for the first time. Because she always pulls up. And she, my, da- my dad that. is, like, standing still. He's, like, and my mm. mom's, like, like full <laughs> out, like, <laughs> dancing in the middle of, like, space park. Yeah, it's really funny. So, yeah. It's good to have both, though. Yeah, have, it's good balance. We should have a, a rave or an event that we invite all our parents. It's like bring That's your bring your child to work day, yeah, but bring, bring your bring your parents to, to rave, rave day. day. Bring your parents to rave day. If, I like if that. It happens. Y'all know where it started. That is gonna be the worst night for hundred dollar dance battle. The we worst all bet. We all people. bet on our parents. Yeah. Who wins? Like a dance <laughs> battle, parent <laughs> dance battle. Yo, yeah. who can <laughs> shuffle the best? <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, don't embarrass your family like that. No, I, mean, I don't know about embarrassment. Yeah, my mom would pop crazy? off. My mom was a samba dancer. Oh, word. Hard. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 So yeah. we have to put put our moms in a play date. In a, like, um, have a, a, a play date. Play date. <laughs> 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 yeah, you gotta put, yeah, let's put our kids on a play date. Yeah, we'll have her. Yeah, I'll have her. I'll have my people call your people. Okay, for sure. Yeah, for sure. I'll let my mom know she has a play date due. When she gets back from Brazil. Battle. I hope your moms meet at like the, the finale <laughs> of the shuffling. Yeah. Fact, this is going to be like the final, the final shuffle. The final shuffle. It's my mom <laughs> against your mom. <laughs> Mango, you write this down. This is like oh, a skit. Left. Where do you go? Oh Outside. my God. Go if you're watching fan. this, you're fake. Our, yeah. our audience members left. That's Boom. messed up. <laughs> That's so messed up. Boom. Anyway. But um, any music plans for this year? Yes. So in two weeks, I'm dropping a single. I'm gonna two be dropping weeks. like a single every month, uh, like oh, literally. Okay. Oh, she has so ammo. <laughs> yeah, I'm just <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What I'm, kind of vibes are we putting out? Next month is like R and B, like smooth, chill R and B with this artist. I'm gonna play it tonight, but um, with this artist, her name is Junie. She's a rapper from, I think she's from Detroit, but I always forget. Um, really fire. Love Detroit. She's we really, just got really back fire. from. Her. Detroit. Oh yeah, beautiful. Trip. I've never been. I want to <gasps> go so bad. Go to go the visit her. Yeah, right. well, go. Well. I'm manifesting a show for you. Okay, out there. but say less. Say less. It's already gonna happen. I, I said it. It's so there. Detroit, <laughs> it's there. I'm coming. Yeah, but um, yeah, and then the after that, it's a lot of like um softer like drum and bass vibes. Like I don't know, just really weird sounding things. But this is like the first drop is gonna be really like traditional like R and B, straight up. Nice. You're making a crossover to electronic. It's. I feel like it's always been there. Like my first project. Yeah. Uh, it's always been was elements. like a lot of yeah drum and bass and like mm-hmm. what what is the what is it called? The genre, Octavian. Do you guys know what he makes? It's like, it's like R and B drum and bass. What is it? What is it called though? R&B it's like drum and bass. But it's not. That's not the name though. I don't know. I'm but like, it's, you, that's so basically like what it is. Selection. <laughs> Liquid? liquid liquid yeah liquid Yay, drum and bass exactly go. thanks Nick. precisely thank you <laughs> so much <laughs> so yeah definitely Shout elements of electronic because that's a big part of my influence i think yeah. for sure like i love do you like souls. to go out and like clubbing and stuff yeah, i see I you like, out there yeah 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 i had like a phase like when i met you like not, that was like not you saying we're your face no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a phase mom no i had like a heavy <laughs> heavy going out phase like i was go- like oh my god 
every yeah. day, every night. I didn't see like R. P. my box. family. That's yeah, for that's inspiration. Open though. up. Yeah, true. Yeah. True. It's not R. I. P. It's a see. It's a see you like, later. See you later. It's a see you later. Like R. I. P. But then revive. You know. Yeah. True. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Your ass. But um, is that but where yeah. y'all met? Because that's where I got to know you from I'm working the door. Yeah. Um. Where? I, yes, I believe we met. We at all met. Box, yeah, but I we met like on Instagram first. Because I feel like we were interacting on Instagram Probably. Before, like, and then I saw you finally, and you were like, oh. I saw you working. Yeah. And then I was working. And I was like, <laughs> you're a fam. You're working. Yeah. I support <laughs> you. I love this. Yeah. Yeah. So, so like, I met a lot of people <laughs> in the, like, nightlife yeah. scene. They're working at the door. Like, see me. People see me at Space. And they see me at Space Park. And then Full Box. You're pretty well connected yeah. to everything at such, it's like, a young It's age. weird. It I don't know. I just be doing shit. And but that's how you know. It happens. You got it. Thank you. You're gonna do it. I I, I, I like that. totally believe it. You're super talented. And you Thank you. You have Me a good too. vibe to you. You know. Thank you so much. Yeah, the first time that. I heard one of your songs, it was Speed Racer. Uh huh. And I was like, she got yeah. something. She Thank got something. you. <laughs> yeah, I want to make some more stuff like that, like just hardcore, like, mm -hmm. but hard and soft at the same time, like just hard creepy beats. cute. Yeah, I creepy say, cute. I say that's like my vibe. Creepy, creepy cute. cute. Creepy cute. Exactly. Just like, <laughs> and I'm like. Ah. <laughs> you know <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah really the juxtaposition yeah exactly exactly a lot of contrast in it but did yeah. you grow up like train with any training at all other than yeah. like musically like maybe vocally or oh well not necessarily i was in like choir in elementary school but that was it i but i down yeah, that yeah. doesn't is it okay if i say it doesn't count yeah no oh, okay that's perfectly <laughs> fine that's perfectly fine like, <laughs> like is that okay for me to <laughs> say it does not I count at all like can i, I definitely it? know yeah but, but um, it's such like a long time ago yeah yeah just I working on it like at home honestly but that, that's basically i did a little bit of dance when i was younger i forced against my will i'm forced. sure you know about oh, that oh yeah that was dance classes ballet i was tap. i tried my mom tried to put me in ballet yeah i don't have the attention span oh word yeah, yeah i got in trouble like immediately oh, okay. so <laughs> it, my mom was like mm, yeah i don't yeah, think ballet no, is for her it's, it was not for me my mom I, wanted me to be a dancer so yeah. bad like so bad but it's okay you i make, make people music. dance yeah exactly so it's it's like close enough easy. yeah close enough it's okay it's, it's my sister's job now it's your sister's <laughs> job you're like unfortunately yeah there you like, go <laughs> have fun. Have fun. Yeah. Yeah. yeah i have one i have a little sister her name is zen zen yeah zen zen yeah zen. Z -E -N. yeah i love hard. that musical are, theater are kid zen? I'm sorry. Are they Zen? No, absolutely <laughs> unhinged. Usually, like, if you yeah, Zen, it's like it's like what the hell? our name should have been switched. I feel like because like she's I'm Phoenix, more, you're more like, Zen. Chill. Yeah, like yeah. insane motherfucker. <laughs> like like insane. Like Phoenix is how does she? Yeah, okay. Phoenix is my real name. Phoenix James, you know. You know, it's a star. Straight name. out the cooch. Straight out the cooch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did your mom have your name beforehand, or did she decide yeah, after? She decided before, and she would like talk to me apparently. Like she talked to you like in the womb. She's like, like my little talented baby. <laughs> <laughs> We're manifesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. The um, things parents do, they like tell you after. I'm like, that's kind of creepy. Yeah, it's really <laughs> weird. Like, what are, what's wrong with you, bro? Kind of like what musical influences did your parents give you? Ooh, okay. So my dad like was working for um, BET growing up. So like it's a lot of hip hop, like a lot of ass shaking, a lot of MTV watching. So, like, a lot of, um, but also, like, a lot of, like, Tribe Called Quest, uh, Lauryn Hill, Fuji's, just hella hip-hop, Andre 3000, Missy Elliott was nice. my favorite. Um, Beautiful era of music. Yeah, and then my mom was listening to a lot of, like, alt-rock. She's from Alabama, so I, I don't even know what's going on over there, but, like, oh. yeah. <laughs> um, that's where I was born, too, but. Um, oh, I didn't know that. Like, a lot of Red Heart Cheerleaf Peppers, Birmingham, which is, like, yeah. You moved here? How old were you? I was like one. <laughs> yeah. I was one. She's a Miami girl. I'm glad I was not raised in Alabama, bro. Like, it's, it's How so different would you be? I would be an athlete. I don't think I would be making music. Really? I, think I would not be queer, or at least not out. Yeah. And very boring and sad. Mm -hmm. I think I would have left anyway, but like. You would have figured it out. Yeah, it just would have right. taken you. A hot minute. Yeah. A lot, a lot more time. Longer. I don't think I would have been like as. as uh, advanced in yeah, yourself yeah, exactly. <laughs> at this point yeah exactly yeah, i'd definitely be doing something completely different for sure for yeah sure. environment is super important right who you surround yourself with completely and completely different people like yeah i genuinely think i've been doing like sports or something if i sports yes yeah, i don't run in basketball i'm a really good basketball player 
No, I like I see that you're yeah. probably extremely athletic. <laughs> right. You have like that. I've seen you running I'm gonna around have a, the boom box. I was like, <laughs> she looks fast. <laughs> She's really good. She's, She's like really good. Yeah. I was like, I need to go to the gym. <laughs> no, no, that's me. <laughs> I wish. But yeah, I think it, it really does shape like the way you turn out because. Oof. Yeah. Alabama is not fun. Good support system. It's a good cute. environment. Right. And, but and yeah, seeing the people you want to be is like super important too because yeah. like community is really important as well and there's no or at least not that i know of like electronic or like, music community or like r&b community in alabama so do you think that the live music community here is like big or what's what's the details on Supportive. that like what's going on when i was in high school i think a lot of the kids were throwing like shows but i think that the mainly house shows yeah house shows but no actually when i was like in high school like there's a lot of venue shows like but all those venues have been like closed down which ones bought out I, I can't remember the names of all of them there was one on north miami Ave that was like massive that i went to that was um it was like spectrum 11 i don't know if you even know no idea grand central i have no idea what the names <laughs> are but they were like really cool venues 1308 or six no, no 1306 idea. yeah i played there I once yeah. not as a dj as a Rocker. Singer in a band. Rock and roll. Wow. Hard. Yeah, that was fun. That what was type like of music did you? Like indie alternative. Hard. But like, yeah. That's I don't know. super hard. It was interesting. <laughs> it was yeah. good. Yeah. It was a good band. They were extremely talented. It was just a fucking mess. Was there beef in the band? Always, babe. Yeah. Always, always beef in the band when it never yeah. works out. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> That's true. But yeah, no, I think all of them have been like bought out or like sold. So there's a big contracts between like venue owners now and then like yeah. musicians or like people who are trying to build something <coughs> and i think that's a big problem so i think it's dying a little bit especially for like the younger crowd because like uh, when i went to las rosas like the crowd i was performing for was like they're all like 50 and wow. yeah no they way. were like it was like a like a lot older older crowd and like because i was playing with like an older band twin oh uh, okay so that's probably why that too yeah the other night but it was pretty young mixed people? crowd a lot of young people Hard. i just don't know where to find them like yeah, outside exactly. of those places and now those places are closing they're hiding yeah they're yeah just like w what's going on and i feel like there's not a huge source like there's like little instagrams and like people are trying their best to get the word out but honestly like it needs to be put on a bigger platform and that's a huge well if you ever find out anything you yeah. can message us i'm gonna just start standing on the block with a huge like megaphone just being like hey, yo, pull there's up. a party tonight yeah, pull up. <laughs> Right now. To start hackling people. <laughs> yeah. Ma imagine Yay. promoting a party before Instagram, yo. Huh? Yeah. Like Passing out flyers and like. We yeah. should be doing that. Honestly. <laughs> Regardless, anyways. Putting like, we should flyers. be walking around the coffee shops. Go to the coffee shops. True. Go to the record stores. <laughs> yeah, all the little cute. Flyer over there. Mm -hmm. like, Rabia's really good about that. I, I, I respect Priscilla who? a lot for that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, really? Honestly, the, the, yeah, Priscilla, the yeah. parties, like. Mm -hmm. They flyer a lot, and I saw a lot of new faces. I saw a lot of people that I've never seen out before. Hard. And when I was working the door, people said I saw a flyer. Like literally yeah, that, that's I was hearing that I around am. too. That's great. Yeah, and it was I it was bet. a pretty packed house was. that night. So, flyering is super important, getting the word out. Right. But I mean, that's how you build a bigger and stronger community. Right. Mm -hmm. Let's build, guys. <laughs> Let's. <laughs> All right, that's enough sappy Ronnie shit Winter. for now. Go <laughs> <laughs> but go ahead. I, I'm sure you have a couple questions. No, no, y no just, questions. Y just yeah, sad. Scorpio, Cancer over there. Oh yeah, we're like. Are we like, sad? No. Damn. I mean, are we the drama? A little. <laughs> tiny bit. <laughs> but a not not bit. the bad kind. True. Just like the y'all are the tea. <laughs> like the yeah the giggling one where it's oh, like true. no one is really a little like mischief. Offended. That's not like yeah. It's never We're mean. Mischievous. We're cute. It's not mean. We're sp spicy, no, just funny. Sweet. We're spicy. <laughs> I know you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I remember like seeing. We used to have like very brief interactions when we'd go out, yeah. but like they were always so like um, genuine. I remember seeing you at the stamina gig in the trailer. Like, yes. Going so hard. Hard. I was but like twisted. You just you were twisted. <laughs> I can't with you. <laughs> But just, I don't know, just what is your connection to music? Like, how deep does mm -hmm. it go for you? Because you go hard when you go out, like, just yeah. dancing-wise, not even partying, just 
yeah, being present and listening to the music and like, cause you hear the music and you can hear what it's telling you to do. Yeah, exactly. I think that music. Okay, so like my grandpa was a, a musician as well. He was like a music teacher, which I didn't know until I got like a lot older. Um, and I think that like it's just in my blood, first of all. And the response to drums, I don't know what it is, but like when Something. that bass, like that's why I was going so hard because when I can feel the bass here, like oh, it feels, it just feels good. Activated. Like game over. Yeah, I'm just like oh. You're like, like no a robot. One's, no one speak to me like right winter now. Winter shoulder. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like sweating. I, I think yeah, it's just good to like free yourself and just like interact with the music and just like dance like nobody's watching because like why not? That's what the DJs want you to do. That's what everybody here to do. If just you're not doing that, like I can never imagine like going to a party and just standing still and just being like hating my life. <laughs> What's which is like some people do that. They're enjoying this the vibes. But, but they're like, just there, yeah. Personally, like yeah. I enjoy dancing and I don't know, it's just I literally don't know what it is. I yeah. just love music. How do you translate that to your live sets then? Um, ooh, arrangements. Like, I try, like, I don't ever want to perform without a band. Like, I always want to perform with, with a, band. a band. Yeah. Full like, band? Like, what's, full what's, band. I got what's the setup? Drums, keys, guitar, bass, horns sometimes. Ooh. I have a couple saxophone and trumpet playing homies that you, and you that's basically. You would have loved before it closed. Where I've been to, uh, the, yeah, I've, I've been, yeah, I was at Hippie Haven a lot. Tiny stage? There. Tiny stage. Um, tiny desk. Is That's not when they did the open mics, no? Yeah, yes, is, yes, yeah. I pulled up to one. I played at one. For real? Yeah, I was like, yeah, because I'm cool with Marcus and like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I yeah. used to work those those nights as backstage. Hard. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, so we, so we probably met before even knowing we, we met. Yeah. Shout out Danny. Danny, baby. Yes, I saw her the other day. It was really? Yeah, it was really oh, nice. She's I've good. Seen her forever. Super sweet human. But yeah, no, music is just everything. But like live sets, it's just important that you switch up whatever you're working with. So like if I play mm -hmm. a song, I'm going to play it way differently. Like do you guys know how like Doja Cat did every award show with like a different version of like Say So? Or was no. it Say So? She did like a metal version. She did like nice. a hip hop version then she did like an alien vibe vibe <laughs> yeah <laughs> like she mixed vibe. in different every single time like i like that vibes because it's, it's the fresh. same song yeah. you play the same song over and over again people don't realize like as a performing artist you're performing the same songs exactly over sometimes and over it's boring again. but also yeah. like you have people who are coming to your shows like a lot multiple times you wanna shake shit up and if it's the same <laughs> people yeah you want to do something different every single time and impress people so Especially it's like an award show like people are probably the same people are watching like almost the same award shows right yeah so, like, they yeah it's the same yeah same thing over and over so that is really important and just getting feedback from the audience making the audience feel like they're performing mm -hmm. too so like Sorry. No, no, no. Like, do you ever switch up any of you like your songs like live yes um the so the songs from um new stages which is like my most recent ep like we're working on like making it sound a lot more live so like because a lot of it's like electronic, electronic yeah. yeah so i'm like okay how can we make this a lot cooler i'm setting the vibes in my head i was listening to you on the way here. yeah i'm trying to like figure that out right now but just like that just okay. switching the instruments making sure we add like solos for the guitars to go crazy and like maybe making it sound like more rock or making the song sound slower or faster or, like making it like a drum and bass version of another yeah. r&b song so like that'll yeah. be cool to see your adaptation of drum and bass with a live band it's really fun it's actually better with I, I was about band. to say like the organic drums i mean you must have some like talented people it's that you're working so with so hard it's so hard yeah um the the drummer that i use m like more often now is max marcio he's super hard and like having drummers that like love drum and bass and like like playing it yeah right, like, that's they drummers get are so hard. happy like, drummers are hardest i think to find yeah in miami especially because they all are in like college or something right now like just or like we're in rock touring, bands like yeah or in a yeah. somewhere and you're like play Come this drum and bass shit right now <laughs> but they get so happy and i like i like when drummers get inside it because they just go stupid they it's go like ham. yeah like like to drum and bass i can yeah they're going nuts I, they very i feel like they freak they out. rarely had times where they can go that hard yeah so then to be working with an artist that has electronic like some sort of electronic yeah, background exactly. you it's pull that best. it's like it's so good. Any Everyone's getting fed. Yeah. Anybody who listens to like any different types of music is like clutch. Yeah. So I like to have people who branch out in my in my bands. Yeah. Is there any other genres that you're trying to branch out to? Like eventually, I'm not saying right now, but like, or is there something that yeah. you've always just secret? Like maybe. Yeah. I love funk. I love funk so much. Okay. But and what? kind of fun because you're talking to a brazilian i'm, I'm thinking balia fun. Ba okay 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 i, li I love <laughs> but and then you also yeah. have 
slow funk. You have different types of funk. Yeah, psychedelic definitely funk. like soul. Like James Brown. Ooh. I love, of course, probably not funkadelic is hard, but like I love James Brown. Like the breaks, all of his drum breaks. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Like, busting down like yeah. that. Um, <laughs> and then like more alternative leaning stuff. I think is that that's what I'm working on now. I want stuff to sound more like live. Um, so like s- more stuff leaning towards like new stages. And why why it. live more? Is it just like you're being exposed to more musicians or out of like? I'm curious to see the transition into more live sounds. I think it's just because I, I'm just a musician and like the, nothing beats the like feeling of a live of, instrument. Uh, yeah, a human playing an instrument and just mm-hmm. expressing themselves through that instrument. Like you can really tell like it that person different. cares. Yeah, it hits so different. Like Those Dilla beats when live? You, uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, <laughs> but no, those go live. Yeah, like when you listen to like Arab Cup ba- Badu live yeah. versus like, Oof. yes. I don't know, like if I'm listening to let's say like some like if if it's twin like super electronic or like mm-hmm. it's versus radiohead is like bro like the feeling is way different yeah and but yeah but in two different ways but you're you're kind of combining the two yeah exactly which for me huge hybrid fan i love like hybrids. why I are you just doing one thing i just want to be hybrid. like genreless i think right? we should just like because i think you as an artist should stand out like alone yeah and then this is just the music that I make. This is an extension of me. Right. And like different versions of that. That's how I, yeah, that's how I view it. You're not yeah. one type of person. Yeah, exactly. So why would you only release one type of music? Yeah, why would I limit myself? Exactly. If I, have, if I can do a bunch There's of There's so many things. parts of your brain, babe. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> access all of it. Exactly. <laughs> I'm like tapping in. You're tapping into <laughs> different genres. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I definitely want to do a lot of fusion and... Yeah, it's, it's just fun to mess around, honestly. Mm-hmm. Like, I have a lot of ideas, and I can't stay in a box. And I think that's... But I also, like, organize my um, projects. Like, if New Stages is going to be, like, kind of alternative-leaning, I have another one, like, that's, like, all R&B. Yeah. And just, like, organizing it so I don't confuse people too much because no, sometimes of course. it becomes, Yeah, like, you're going to start much. building, like, catalogs, yeah, basically, exactly. and then combining them, EPs, yeah. all that stuff. Tripe, yeah, type, yeah. Yeah, I already have, like, two other EPs done, so it's, like... I know. <laughs> I know you do. You're prepared. Obsessive. That's Obsessive. awesome, though. <laughs> yeah, like Scorpio vibes. I just, like, rub some of that on me. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I need more... Yeah, help me. It's all discipline, <laughs> bro. Yeah, facts. No, it's really admirable that you're, like... You're really going for it. Thank you. Thank you so much. What are you guys working on? No, no, no. This is not about us. Oh, oh, this is oh, only oh. about you. Okay. okay. Nice try, though. <laughs> <laughs> nice try, you know? <laughs> okay, so <laughs> new stages sounds, you know, it leans more towards alternative sound. Like yeah. Said. What's, like, the emotion that you took into it, though? Ooh, new stages is, like... It s- sounded like you, you were, like, you felt something and you, like, pushed back past some sort of, like... You had, like, a breakthrough moment. That's what it sounded like. Yes, exactly. Like, that was me, like, using my voice for the first time, like... As a singer, like singing, singing, I feel like if you listen to my first project, um, it's like I'm kind of rapping, singing. It's like a Drake moment. And I think that the Drake moment. me like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like, oh, uh, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, well, well. It wasn't the last Drake like, moment. This, sounds <laughs> yeah. this, new, this new album. But Do you, yeah. you don't like it? Yo. I haven't heard like it. it? Okay, okay, okay. I like. I feel like you're gonna like it. I haven't listened to like any of the like, people keep mentioning Let's Beyonce and this. Drake and all that this. stuff. Whoa, like, I don't know. whoa, whoa! It sounded Why like, like that it? Black Coffee song he did, like the entire song, like album. <gasps> Interesting. Hater. No I'm kidding. I don't know. It's not that. It's not that he can't do it, and I, I encourage. I'm glad he did. Like went in that direction. Yeah. I just it wasn't. It's all right. They could have picked Word. up a Miami local producer and had them work on that record. You know what I'm saying? Sounds like he did. Oh, <laughs> oh, damn. I think I don't know. I don't look at Drake as like a breakthrough. Like he's gonna come up with something new every single time. I look at him as like as a commercial artist now. Yeah. Because like what he did, like starting off was like breakthrough. But now he's just like he's just popping out records. Yeah, he's just like doing stuff to make money and like money <laughs> and have fun. Yeah, he's just money, having money. fun. <laughs> That's what that I thought of like that album as. It's just like fun. And I was at a party when it drops, so like it's bumping. And I'm just like, oh, ooh, I like yeah. this a lot. Maybe I should speed up the BPMs. Maybe my my opinion oh, will change. Oh, maybe. I don't know. I have to listen to it still. Yeah, I think you're gonna like it. I th- I think you're gonna. Yeah, like maybe. It. We'll revisit. We'll see. <laughs> Yeah, but the the Jersey Club Oof. beats, yeah. I love Jersey Club, Me though. Me too. Wait, what song on there had Jersey Club? It's Currents, uh, Sticky. Um, sticky isn't bad. Sticky's nice. Sticky's yeah. Sticky. 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 You know how sticky, sticky. it gets. I don't even know what it is, but I already like it. Sticky. Any 
any type of vocal like that. I'm like, maybe I'll give it another look. Right. <laughs> Jersey Club is like why, unmatched. Why Anything. not act silly in the club? No, facts. Yeah. Like acting silly in the club is actually the funniest thing. When nobody knows that you're acting silly, it's like scaring everybody. In the oh, yeah. Club. Sometimes <laughs> I'm like in the corner, like <laughs> doing stupid shit just to make my friends laugh. And I'm like, whoever walks past and sees this, like definitely thinks I'm nuts. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> if I see you doing that, I trust you. Everybody's drunk. <laughs> I d- if I see you acting weird, I trust you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're authentic. Facts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I just deadpan good. right after doing something weird. I'm like doing it and I'm like, <laughs> yeah, for real. People come up to you. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> whatever. Uh, anyway. Uh, yeah, <laughs> but yeah, no. what you were saying, you were using your voice. That's what we were yeah, talking yeah, about before, yeah, we, before we went on this back long. Back to my voice. Yeah. But yeah, I was using my voice for the first time and just like expanding my production style. Yeah. And um, I think at that like moment, I was just discovering myself because I'm still a baby. And a baba. Um, just ex- it's just, just me screaming into the void, essentially. And being like, I need to lock in before I tweak out and I did and I don't really know how to explain it it was just like a it's, it's those a spiritual moments yeah, yeah you don't did really you cry just, I did cry did you cry when you heard your like first like completed demo or like something where Ooh, I don't think I cried at, at that point I was just like I've heard this song a million times I'm just trying to get it not co- I guess not completed but, like, emotional? but the first like you lay it out and you're yeah. like this is a good song yeah yeah you sure. cried I definitely cried and while making it oh yeah lot. yeah i was in the i work with uh this producer abner dennis he's from miami but he just moved to like la mm-hmm. and um he was just like in the room with me we we're making heavy eyes which is like the fourth song i think on the ep and i was just like in the back like <laughs> <laughs> he's just like waiting for me to like stop crying get it he's together like, he's like <laughs> we can use this keep recording like so it was it was a really cool experience for me just to like really just focus in and like have a concept essentially like sonically and have everything sound super cohesive that's a beautiful moment as an artist it's because i feel like that's really what people are fighting for just to put out a cohesive piece of work that is very um Mm self-explanatory in a way yeah it was a lot of fun making that project but i i think that now i just want to make stuff people can dance to because i go out and then i see like winter djing or it's like Bro, like, I, I want people to dance, too. Like, I can't I'll just have tracks. a bunch of... Let's make a dance track. I'm so down. Let's, put, well, we let's jersey out your track. And yeah, buy fuck funk. it. Yeah. Let's do it. We lit. Throw some vocals on that. So, yeah, that's what I'm focused on now, is just dropping stuff that's, like, Bouncy. danceable. Yeah, because I want that, too. And, like, all performing. All about you have a lot yeah. of room to work with. A right. lot of cool, different sounds and techniques. And that's I'm from Miami. Like, I can't You could go, go out. Without. You could yeah, you like, see it. You could go out. You're like... What does this track need? Go out one night. Go <laughs> yeah. out on like a Thursday, like, Friday, and you're like, mm, shazamming yeah. everything. <laughs> I'm like, bro, what is this? But that's how you make good, like, that's how you make music. You yeah, go out, exactly. whatever you, you you're learn. not able to figure out, you go out and get inspired. Right. You that's just like learn. Some people confuse like going out to partying and going out to like that, to, like be inspired, see something new. Uh, babe, right. I'm, I'm doing research. Same. Yeah. Like, <laughs> same. what you, you think I'm partying? Like, I'm, I'm exploring. Well, I mean, I'm, cl- I'm, I'm dancing. Right now, yeah. You know? That's how I felt at the um, Floyd had these DJs Octa Octa and Eris Award. and they were playing some cool like weird house like it was mm. just sounds I'd never heard and I was like this is exactly what I wanted to go out to <laughs> tonight field. I told everyone I was like I'm not in the mood to talk I'm not I'm like yeah. I'm usually annoying but tonight silence <laughs> yeah, I just exactly. want to take in the sounds right yeah I have this one like voice memo of me and like boombox and I'm just literally freestyling to the beat hey. like singing loud as hell the girl next to me was like Shut like, up. Like, <laughs> who are you? What are you doing? I'm, I'm Phoenix James. Don't you open <laughs> the door? <laughs> like, yeah, no, but I love going out and just like listening and just being like, okay. How'd you find Boombox? Boombox? I. Boombox. <laughs> it's so funny because I end up in like places like Boombox or like space and then I'm just like, how did I get here? I don't even remember how I got here. Destiny. But I knew, <laughs> I knew Laszlo. I met Laszlo like at Walt Grace Vintage because my school was right there. So I would go there. I bought my like first base from him actually. Oh, wow. Yeah. So like he uh, sold me my first base. Destiny. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Literally. And then first it was a joke, but yeah. then I'm like, wait, I'm not kidding. Yeah. But a friend brought, bought me to Boombox and then like I was dancing. Cool. And then by the second time, I yeah, it's cool, fresh. fresh cool, I'd yeah. gone there like three times, and then Laszlo was like, do you want to work here? And I was like, sure. Like, cool. So you were like probably one of the OGs that you were hanging out there no, early on. for sure. Oh, this was like right when they opened the, black, new, the b- new Black Book. Like one. Three, four. Type. Like the first party. Like oh, no, like in the, the old. Free ones? 
the, not the, the old, old house. location. No, the, or new, the, new, the one. new one. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait did one you of go those. To the old one? No, I had oh, never okay. been, but I'd heard. I had about only it been once ever in my life. Yeah, no, nah. I was, was I was still a shrimp. I was like a shrimp. A little shrimp. I'm just gonna start calling myself a shrimp now because I mean my head is pink. I'm a shrimp. Call me shrimp, guys. Shrimp. Call me shrimp. Went so wrong. It'll shrimp make me edition. feel cute. <laughs> <laughs> That's hard. <laughs> DJ shrimp. shrimp. DJ yeah, DJ yeah, shrimp. shrimp. Or just have a, an album called like no shrimp. I, just S S H R M P. Shrimp. 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 Anyway, I think. Anyways. Yeah, we literally have two minutes yeah. left. We're gonna end on shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> um. Is there anything you want to say about yourself? That you Promo about? yourself. Shout I out yourself. I am dropping a song called Teary Eyed featuring Junie on July 14th. July. You can stream my new EP, uh, New Stages, on all platforms at Phoenix James. My Instagram is at P H O E N I X X J A M E S. Per. That's Period. all. Thank you guys so much for having me. Thank you for coming. This is a very interesting conversation. Yeah, we went <laughs> we went everywhere. Literally everywhere. On the map. And I'm going to have to play one of Drake's songs now that um Please If do. you have it, yeah, I'm wrong. That'll be like the last track in the you, you know. I actually do like Sticky. Right. Sticky's good. Yeah. Like Sticky. Sticky is hard. Yeah, Sticky's good. I'll You're yeah. tripping. I'm tripping. <laughs> Maybe I'm yeah. curious. Yeah, it's okay. yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. curious. All right, y'all. Um next 2 weeks we got interesting series of events uh let's talk about atv records first oh. r.i.p they're closing at the end of the month it's Try okay to support them as much as you can prior yeah but there's some good shows going on the next few weeks yes we got <coughs> july 9th we got july 9th at atv oh ju- what's that what's july 9th what is it's it? night flight night flight that was the party yeah it's her party it's her party yeah i have to look at the rest of the lineup but it's gonna be a good night <laughs> yeah july DJ That's Swisha. July 16th. Oh, wait. Screw it. <laughs> I was like, but I know exactly pu- I know exactly when that day is. Uh, I will be there. pull up then, too. <laughs> pull up for that, too. It'll be a good yeah. night. So July 9th, ATVs. All right. So <laughs> this weekend, local-wise, uh, we just got, I don't know how to pronounce your name, so sorry. So Chickled, um, <laughs> Tamer, and Camelia. That's going down at Domicile on Sunday, July 3rd. Uh, Monday on Independence Day, we have Made in Miami. That's Oscar G's party with Coco Drills. And Lazaro, those are Miami OGs. The um, Coco Chanel. Thursday, July 7th, Odd at Floyd, featuring Object Blue and Physical Therapy. Friday, <gasps> July physical 8th. Therapy. It's someone's birthday. It's my birthday. Happy birthday. And, and we I throw in a rave. Eat that icing out. Uh, cake, cake, cake. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Annex is Annex and internet night. friends are throwing Shlomo uh, at Domicile, featuring myself. Winter, uh, Low Earth Orbit, X13F, Sejorb. Come party. Same night, we it's have uh, we have Portals. They're doing Body to Body, Body Adi. We got Kyra and Witchcraft from New York. Awesome. You should go see them. I love them. Uh, we got Zay, we got Brookheim, we got Cosmos, Pierre Luis, the whole gang. Saturday, July 9th, we're domiciled with Kara Kluve, and we have Ultra Them playing in others. Woo-hoo. Miss Gummy Mommy. Gummy yes. Mommy. Yes. Uh, 710, it's Dav Day. Uh, I was about. I was gonna do it. It's not announced like, yet. But I don't know if I want that. Annex internet, and Boombox are cooking something yeah. up, <laughs> so it's an all-day affair, noon to 1 a.m. Uh, slide. And it then <laughs> it's so addicting. You started it. And July 14th, Thursday, I'll be at Over Under with Bozito from, uh, which is a Miami. Bow. Throwing Latin night perreo. Bow, 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 bow. That's going to be me. That's going to be my ass. Bow, bow. (laughs) Anyway. That's it, y'all. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for having me. I just play on this by accident. Um, (laughs) Thanks for hopping on. Thank Thank you for having me. Bye. So, what are you going to do right now on the decks for us? Um, Oh, yeah. I'm going to play a couple of my songs, a couple unreleased stuff. I can't DJ, so I'm just going to play tunes and pretend like I'm doing something on the board. She's going to give us a brief description.